In this video, we're going to look at mouse selection inside of Autodesk Inventor. Here I have the mouse selection IPT from our working files directory. As you can see, I have a long list of feature history inside of this model. Now, if I'd rather choose how I pick things differently on screen, I can simply click on a face and that will grab that face for me and I get a little mini pop up there. So here I have my first set of options of editing the extrusion or modifying the sketch that created this particular feature. I can move my cursor away. When I come back, I will get a little pop-up menu here as well, this time showing one face. And this is currently showing me what my mouse is hovering on. This little guy here is known as the selection filter. What I can do is if I'm having a hard time picking on something or selecting something, I can scroll through this to get a better grasp of what I'm trying to acquire. So if I scroll my mouse wheel up and down, it will actually cycle through available options. And as you can see, it's trying to grab extrusions or different faces. Once I have selected what I want, let's say I want this inside face, I just left click to select it and it then picks that face for me. This is very helpful when you have very small faces you're trying to grab and it's becoming very difficult with your selection. I can move my cursor away and left click somewhere so it deselects that. Let's say I'm trying to grab this interior face of the hole. Again, this pop up will appear here after a certain period of time, and right now it's trying to select edge. Well, I can cycle through there, and I can see there it's grabbing the face. I will then left click my mouse to pick that, and I now have that interior face selected. And now I can use my edit feature or edit sketch for that as well. Now you can also change the default way that your mouse does pick on things. The default way is by faces and edges. Some other programs that use 3D modeling will actually pick on features instead of faces and edges. To change that priority, you can hold down shift and right click. And here I can choose a feature priority for mouse selection. By doing that, I can now pick on entire features instead of individual faces. However, I still do get my selection filter to cycle through if I'm trying to grab something explicit. Another way you can change your priority is by going to the quick access toolbar at the top of the screen and choosing it up here as well. But the shift and right click method keeps your eyes on the action going on in the screen, and that way you don't have to travel as far to change a simple priority.